Hey, so I'm here to do a general love reading. This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general. They're for the collective. So if something doesn't resonate for you, just leave it for a Taurus who needs to hear it. And remember that there is no gender in Tarot. So I always pull two separate energies in these spreads. The first I'll call yours. The second should be the person that you're dealing with. If they fit better in the opposite, though, just go ahead and switch sides. Cross watchers, that goes for you as well. Um... Yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you need to book a private personal reading or any other services, all the information to do that is in the description below and in the pin section of the comments. If you didn't get a chance to view it, I did drop a Taurus um, reading for the overall for the month of April. It includes, you know, spiritual, career, love both singles and couples and additional messages from the universe make sure to check that out so as always i will start with you and your person's current energy and then we'll move into the next couple of days and see what's happening I also did do um, full moon and Libra readings. Make sure to check those out. That's happening like the 6th. So. All right. May I have the overall energy, please, for Taurus and like. Thank you. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Five of Swords as the overall. Ace of Swords. The Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, <clears throat> the Hanged Man, Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups. Okay. Um, A truth that came out, like, I feel like with these two fives, one is it changed everything. Um, in one sense, there was, like, just so much conflict behind it, be that mental conflict. It was, like, this energy of just literally being defeated with the truth. So much so that it actually was depressing. I think you see things differently. Maybe at one point in time, this person played a lot of games and you kind of, you know, she's, she's got that blindfold on. You may not have been hip to the game. You, because you were busy doing this earthly thing. Maybe you go to work every day. When you commit to somebody, you're committed to somebody. You're loyal by nature.
and maybe now you're realizing that these games were really in essence to keep you trapped in this state of just chaos, right? Just a lot of sadness, a ton of, of heaviness, like just carrying the entire relationship yourself here. But to top it off is that I feel like this person may have, you know, made an offer to a, a person. And you can't forget that. Like, I feel like they took their time playing games with you and manipulating you to slowly move in on another energy. You could have been dealing with... Um, a Pisces, heavy Pisces here. Don't have to be, but you could have been. Or, you know, we have this Queen of Wands, which is like fire energy. You know, I feel like when you look back at this relationship, you don't necessarily have good memories. It's like the truth about the situation, like it wasn't just that they went towards someone else. It was that they manipulated and played games with you and maybe in your defense, like, you are busy in life, I think, you know, like some of you are parents, you know, the queen of pentacles. This is like making sure that the home is stable. It's like, you know, you're over here with one of these queens, you know, <laughs> and I'm at home with kids or I'm at home cooking dinner. I'm, I'm at work all day. It, it's like, it didn't just leave a bad taste in your mouth that they did this. It was like all the nonsense around it. You know, it's like almost like a triangulation thing. You know, it's like when they finally were ready to make that move, they didn't even care that you knew about this because you definitely knew. And I feel like this was all going down when you were just concerned with the stability of yourself or your family, you know? Interesting. Overall energy is the Magician, Gemini energy. We have the Five of Wands, Three of Swords, the Well. <clears throat> if you guys are dealing with an Aries, go catch that reading. That, that was a, it, there's just a lot of cards that are in common here. We have the Harfont, Taurus energy. The Sun, Leo, the King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Aries Scorpio, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Wands. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you guys dealing with like some kind of maybe like sociopath or something here? Because I have this like manipulative energy where it's like causing chaos to create separation.
And at the same time, whoever they're separating from in the moment, like they're still under this illusion that things will pull together or that they will still, you know, that this person is still committed to them and that things are going. It's like it's almost like a, a person that kind of comes in when they want to and leaves when they want to. But they don't just do it like that. You know, like there's this whole manipulation behind it. It's kind of like. A person that'll pick a fight with you so that you break up with them. I mean, it'll be a vicious fight. The five of wands. I just feel like this is a pattern with this person, okay? What they do is they pick a fight so somebody will leave them, okay? But in turn, they can turn around and say, I was committed. I was happy. You left me. We just had a small fight. You understand? Like the manipulation, the manipulation. I think you're hip on it, you know? And they 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 do this between both parties. It's like when when they're going back towards one to put that, you know, illusion back on, like, you know, everything's fine. It's like, it's not, they're not just doing this to you. Like whoever this other person is, like they're, they're, you know, maybe they're with an Aries person. Maybe that's why it's relating because Aries was dealing with somebody like this too. So either way, it's manipulation at its finest and it's a cycle and they go back and forth between you and this other person. And that's why you're saying it's like, it's not even just the fact that you had another person. It's how you do it. You know what I mean? It's like you pull back all of your energy. You get stingy with your time. You go ghost. And then you play the victim. Not you. I'm saying they do. Um, of course, I guess this could be in the reverse. Somebody here, though, manipulates in a manner that it's like, like, they'll be so nasty towards someone that it causes this huge fight. And, of course, the other person is so pissed, they're like, you know, fuck off. But because you told them to fuck off, well, now they're single. And when they want to come back around, you're like, dude, what are you talking about? There's already another person. They're like, that's your fault. You left me. And it's just a, a game that's played on both sides. Because, see, this person doesn't have other energies in them. You know for a fact there's a third party, but they don't even see it that way. They're singular by themselves. So I feel like what this is, is you recognizing that this is a game that was played so that they could enjoy holiday time elsewhere and come back and do it with you on the opposite end. It's almost like be, it's like really, really recognizing the, the full truth about a person and being kind of disgusted by it. It's like I said, like you don't have good memories here, you know. Um, it's like you see through the manipulation now, but at some point in time you couldn't. You were in this cycle with these people. Okay. Why is this person popping up for Taurus? Tell me about this. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Temperance, <clears throat> Sagittarius Energy, Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands, I said the Six of Cups, this is the Six of Wands, that's the Six of Cups. <laughs> Page of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, Knight of Cups. That's why he's popped this person. I said he could be a he for you. That's why this person is popping up. I feel like this person is coming toward you, but you have boundaries now. I 
feel like it's even deeper than that. I feel like you set out on this journey to have boundaries. Like what that truth was, like that truth that shook you to the core was that you may have that you may have not had boundaries set where they needed to be. And I feel like that's what started this journey. And now I think you're just deep in the spiritual. I'm not going to lie. I say that because I have, you know, the Ace of Wands, Temperance, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, the High Priestess. Like, you, I feel like you sharpened up your intuition. You know what I mean? You can call a red flag from a mile away. You know when manipulation is manipulation now. I feel like you started... What started you on this, like, spiritual journey, which, by the way, is putting you directly in the correct path. So I don't know if, like, you went from needing to be healed to healer, because that's what it looks like here to me. Like, high priestess energy. It's like you have the sacred knowledge now. Like, you could teach somebody else how to not be played by people or do, how to set boundaries appropriately. Something like that, you know. But you feel like this person, their purpose in life was to, A, look into some childhood stuff, Page of Wands. This is usually like, you know, issues that were, you know, bringing you to this pride and ego place because, you know, your pride will make you compete for a person. Your pride will make you, you know, just do stupid shit, you know, where it's, it's not like, like it doesn't reflect who you really are, you know. But I feel like you've actually also emotionally detached from the betrayal here. It's almost like you found peace with the situation. You know, it's it's not like you walked away and you were like, oh, well, it's just this person's fault. They're a piece of crap. No, it's like you looked into where you went wrong. And it led you down the rabbit hole. And I feel like you're out here now teaching people how to love themselves. I mean that. But when it comes to this person, I feel like they're coming in and they're not going to get anything out of you. It's, it's like, you know, the high priestess is silence. Like when this person comes in and they're going to come in and try to trigger you. I think that they in the past just knew how to do that. But that part of you is dead and I don't think they understand it. And you're not focused even on love. It's like your love now is whatever this light work is that you're doing. And it is whatever the, uh, this, this Taurus, the, this Taurus is a light worker, period. It's like someone really learned how to love themselves. And over a course of time, they decided that this experience was so traumatic that they were going to help other people with it. But I feel like this person's going to come in and try to to get you to spend some time with them. But you're like, I got better stuff to do. I'd be spending time with Source these days. Queen of, the Queen of Swords is, is no games. You cannot play games with this woman, whether you're a male or a female. You know, the King and the Queen of Swords are very different. The Queen of Swords can be very, extremely cold, you know? It's, uh, she, she's not always, she's, you know, inside she's a good person. It's just that she's been through the sword's energy. Do you understand like that whole mental process from, you know, the ace of swords through. <laughs> and this is a woman with boundaries. Like you cannot play her. She catches red flags. And if you, if she doesn't feel like you serve her highest self, you will be cut the fuck off. Period. She's got a big ass sword and that is the sword of truth. The same one that's in that ace over there. In your reading, you already have three aces. This is a brand new thing in life for you. And I feel like this is your love. Like you're just interested in, I feel like loving yourself and others, but even in the way that you love others because it's light work, because you're helping them, that is also loving yourself. It's like you, you figured out that loophole in spirituality that, 
you know, it's one thing to learn about myself and to learn some lessons. It's another thing when I actually help other people apply them. That's a different level of self-love, right? So this person, you know, I don't even, like this, all this energy combined is like long story short devil energy, you know? Or worse, emperor energy with the seven, you know, I hate the seven of cups in this deck. I don't hate it. It's still beautiful artwork, but it is, it's, it's actually more representative with this card than most Seven of Cups looks. I never look at this this one as options. This is more of that Seven of Swords-like energy to me. You know, he's putting that mask on. There's a whole, like, demon gator thing there. So I feel like, you know, you may have actually ended things with somebody who, and I, and I am saying this with, without diagnosis, was highly narcissistic. And all this energy would appear that way, you know? It's like a master manipulator. Like, that is how they survive in life. And, and they're good at it. It's almost like, you know, the way you are viewing this person is almost like... Because there's no emotion there anymore, you have completely emotionally detached. You're like, wow, they're intelligent as fuck. I'm not stupid. It's just this, this dude is smart as hell. But you're, you know, star energy, like you have optimism for the future and you definitely healed. So, you know, maybe once they had control over you, but they don't anymore. We have strength. When your roots are deep, you need not fear the storm. So maybe they're underestimating you, you know, and we have growth. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. And behind that, teach. It's like I said over here, somebody is, is starting light work, like real light work. Um, not of their own, I mean to like share it with others. Inspire others and let nature be your greatest teacher. Let me pull a moon card here. It's, it's funny, though, because, you know, if you've ever actually dealt with someone who is, like, very toxic in a relationship, like, you know that you've really, truly healed when you're, like, indifferent, and I think you are. It's like you look at this as a lesson that you were supposed to learn. It's almost like you're grateful this person came into your life to, to pull that childhood trauma or that trauma to the surface that needed to be healed. It's like you get who this person was, but you also see what they are, you know? And I feel like you have all the tools, like you know how to get out of this or how to prevent it. I don't know. It's, this is great energy, to be honest. Especially if this is the same Taurus tribe that I've been rocking with. All right. Nothing will come of this situation. You've already figured that out. The energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> be bold and make the first move. Conclusions are within reach. Bottom of the deck, hold your vision. It's like you, you're you completely indifferent. That's the other side of healing from, like, toxic relationships. Like, you just don't care. If this person's doing well, good for them. If they're not doing well, I also don't. You know, like, I don't have, I don't, I don't really care what's happening with this person. They don't exist to me. I feel like this person used to be able to play you in a circle. And today they can't even contact you. It's like, you know, maybe you were like in a codependent type of relationship before and you decided to just take all the energy that you were putting into it and put it into healing and healing others and it's all here for you. It is the correct path, by the way, if this is something that you're doing. All right, guys, that was a really cool read. I'll see you soon.